Hey everybody, thank you for dropping into DeFi Divi. My name is Matthew, welcome and glad you are here. On this channel, we like to talk about simple crypto passive income strategies that are implemented on blockchains with utility, use cases, and that solve business problems. If you like that type of content, subscribe here or follow me right down here at DeFi Divi on Twitter. As always, none of this is investment advice. I'm not an investment advisor. Always do your own research outside of this channel. Uh, speaking of blockchains that have utility and solve business problems, today we are gonna talk about Hedera and another company called humans.ai uh, looking to partner and cross bridge nfts onto hedera this is pretty fun this is exciting stuff because well artificial intelligence you can't get away from it right by now many of us have heard of chat gtp i use the thing constantly i even upgraded to the paid plan i don't talk about it much there's enough youtubers and even crypto youtubers who are pivoting away from cryptocurrency and digital assets and talking about ai which is fantastic. It's a great, exciting niche. I'm going to keep this channel about mostly about crypto, but I have a feeling we're not going to get away from AI in crypto. In fact, we don't want to get away from it. We do want AI in cryptocurrency and blockchain. And I have a feeling on this bull run that we're going to hear a lot about AI tokens going to the moon. They'll probably crash down during the next bear. But, you know, you think of previous bull runs, we had DeFi completely blow up. Then we had Metaverse stuff completely blow up. This time, it'll probably be AI tokens. You know, you have your Fetch AI, you have Humans AI, you have a bunch of stuff out there. There's a whole class of AI blockchains and token projects that you can you can uh, dig into. And I'll, I'll cover some more of those as well, especially when they're partnering on chains I do cover, which do have utility and solve business problems. And don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of AI in general. I even have one of those uh, Stanford Online course certificates for machine learning that I got. This was a lot of work, actually. I got this in April 2016. It was not an easy course. And I've been as I was been a software developer for a long time when I took this, but this was way more about linear algebra and statistics and machine learning models and training data and supervised data and unsupervised models and learning and oh my god it was just pretty intense luckily i was at a startup and it was just slow during the period when i took this so i was able to do a lot of this while i was working they're like yeah go ahead do your ai course we have nothing we're going under any day now <laughs> and it happened they went under but that was fun i got this so the point is i do like ai but for this channel i'm going to keep it mostly about crypto and when it ai ties into crypto yes i will do that I will say this, chat GTP, when I do use it to, to as my assistant for coding, because right now I'm building some DeFi tools just to help myself. And if they're if they remove a lot of friction for me, which some of them are already, I'll release them to you if they're if I feel they're good enough. You know, I don't want to put junk out there, but these feel like they're they're coming along, so I'll keep you posted on that. But what I'm saying is I use chat GTP more than I use Google and Stack Overflow now to to get answers to coding problems and if you're a developer you know what that means you know what stack overflow is and yeah I, i'm using chat gtp more the thing's still pretty dumb but I, I still it's smart enough for me to go oh yeah here i'll i'll pay for this pretty powerful stuff all right so let's get into it today this tweet came down my feed from hedera and I quote, excited to announce that deep tech startup humans.ai has partnered with consultancy firm uh, DECA4 and the HBAR Foundation to bring wrapped AI NFTs, enabling rich user experiences and multifunctional utility to the mainstream, powered by Hedera. And that's fantastic. You click on that, you end up at the uh, PR Newswire article, the official press release. Human AI's AI-verse launches on the Hedera network. And I quote, European deep tech startup Humans AI has partnered with UAE-based consultancy DECA4 to bring wrapped AI NFTs to the mainstream by launching them on the industry-leading Hedera public distributed network. The first AI-verse project to integrate Hedera is Klon, the AI video generation tool available in closed beta that enables users to create professional text-to-voice content with realistic avatars, here, NFTs on Hedera are used to unlock certain aspects or features of the AI. For example, to unlock a certain AI voice type, such as a female Italian voice, the user must own its representative NFT. Yeah, imagine that. Or imagine you own the representative NFT, and what you can unlock with that NFT is, oh man, there's just the, the unlimited possibilities. Think of all the stuff we're able to do with chat GTP right now. Put your mind around all that, and now imagine being able to buy 
those or lease those rights in a decentralized marketplace uh, by purchasing an NFT. And who knows what will be offered there? It could be image generation, voice to text, video creation. It could be some sort of utility like, for example, you could these NFTs might be beneficial to law firms for the actual AI to go and do discovery through email documents instead of having humans do it, right? A lot of these, these entry-level lawyer jobs are going to probably be wiped out in maybe five years uh, or less, just like many of the entry-level software developer jobs are going to be wiped out. Like, I use this thing right now, like, as a developer, and I probably, for my next venture, will probably hire one less developer to manage because I'm like, okay, one full stack developer now can do a lot more by partnering with NAI. So yeah, that's really like two employees, but one of them is only, well, 20 bucks a month or less or whatever you would be willing to buy an NFT version of that for on a marketplace. But it's really exciting. Uh, it's coming no matter what. I know it's scary. Some of us want to fight it, but there is no, there is no choice in fighting it. The only constant, the only thing that's guaranteed as cliche as it sounds, is change. This change is coming, and hopefully we can run it in a way where AI serves us and it doesn't turn on us and we end up serving some robots. But let's keep going. And I quote, We are excited for humans' AI to revolutionize the AI industry. Our AI-verse will be launched as the first executable AI NFT ecosystem that is interoperable between the Humans AI blockchain for AIs and the Hedera network, said Valley Malinolu, head of blockchain at Humans AI. AI NFTs developed by Human AI are neural networks that are encapsulated into an NFT in order to enhance its governance, management, and usage. Humans AI provides breakthrough technology that allows people to rely on neural networks as a way to generate knowledge from data sets. And that's what, that's what chat GTP does right now. It's a neural network that generates knowledge from the large, this large corpus of data. And, that, and that's how it looks like it's having a real conversation with us. Pretty scary, pretty tricky, pretty interesting. Uh, and I quote, by incorporating AI and governance capabilities into NFTs, they can evolve from basic proofs of ownership to intelligent, self-governing forms of ownership that enable richer experiences and a higher quality utility for researchers, artists, AI creators, NFT creators, and consumers. Yeah, all the above. Don't forget developers. Don't forget startups. I mean, this. yeah, sky's the limit here. Sky is the limit. So Humans AI, this thing is powered by, this blockchain at Humans AI is powered by what's called the Heart Token. And I quote, get started with Heart. Heart is the fuel of AIs, the utility token that powers the Humana ecosystem. One of the things I liked about, I saw mentioned by I think the CEO of, of Humans AI is that the consumer, the general consumer, people like you and me, maybe someone who's not in crypto, may be able to participate in this marketplace by paying in fiat. And then that fiat is converted under the hood into heart. And then heart still does all the powering to keep the ecosystem incentivized and thriving. But the end user pays with just this, their credit card. Because you know what? If I'm a startup, let's say I'm a tech startup and I really want to use and I've looked at the centralized solutions. I looked at what OpenAI offers. I've looked at ChatGTP. I've looked at what Google's offering. And then I'm like, oh, I want to see what's in the decentralized world. I'm going to look at what uh, I can find on Hedera. And then I see this NFT, wrapped NFT on Hedera that, that's coming in from something on Humans AI. And I'm like, oh, this thing looks like this is really good. This is really valuable. Yeah, I would lease this for a year or, what, or buy it, whatever they're offering. Where do I pay? And then they tell me, okay, well, you have to pay here in heart token. I'd probably be like, wait a minute, what? How do I, how do, I do that? I would, how do I get, I got to go to exchange now and I got to do all that. And I, but that would be friction and that might detour me and it might make me go to a centralized solution. But if I can just whip out a credit card, pay in fiat, then the app handles the conversion under the hood. Boom, I'm in. Let's do this decentralized. So I like that I saw the uh, CEO of Humans AI talking about that important concept and yeah i looked at the humans ai light paper really quickly the technology section was interesting uh and i quote the ai library ai developers have a new way to deploy and train their algorithms in a ready to sell environment where they can share their creations and collaboratively improve their models ai models have been optimized for specific data inputs 
This may happen on a self-unsupervised basis, which requires no labels, or a supervised basis, which requires labels. This training can be automated uh, or configured manually, resulting in train model taking the form of a binary file. Uh, digital genome, anyone can create their own unique digital genome for use with their own creations and others. These genomes are owned by their creators and may earn their owners compensation as they are used in the production of synthetic media assets. Requests for use will be submitted by, for approval by the creator and their designated agents. And it goes and talks about the apps on the system. Users will have the ability to deploy apps at scale with the humans in the humans decentralized ecosystem and to access a host of decentralized services provided by other members of the community. Very cool. And then in order to go live with an app and make it available more broadly in the system, users will be required to stake heart. Okay. So you got to stake heart to get that app out there. All right. Good to know. And then you have uh, users and data providers. As a basic rule, users own all their data. In order to make data available in the human studio, the data and authenticity of ownership will need to be validated by third-party validators. Validated data remains validated in perpetuity unless changes are made, which will require fresh validation. Very nice. All right, everyone. Well, this will be interesting. So we're going to have... Uh, NFT marketplaces, and these NFTs will be utility NFTs that actually have AI functionality. We can use them to solve problems. We can utilize AI to NFTs to solve problems, much like how we use chat GTP and open AI to solve problems. This one's coming from a decentralized marketplace. The other one's coming from a centralized open AI. Be interesting to see how this plays out. It is the wild, wild west of AI right now. And I do want to see more and more AI projects in blockchain. It's one of the things missing, and we need it. We're going to need it. Crypto, the whole, the whole digital asset space is, is going to need the help of artificial intelligence. Everything's going to be using artificial intelligence. Those who fight the AI and resist it are going to be behind because just by using chat GTB, you're already more productive. Because this AI has parsed all this data, chat, GTP, open AI in this case, and, just, and now this AI knows how to make a conversation of all that data. In other words, that thing has the coding experience of thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of conversations. So that's probably why it's right a lot of the times as well. And it does, it does write some good code and it does write some, some crap. Total side rant, but this is exciting and scary, and it's going to be interesting to watch it play out. I'm glad there's decentralized stuff happening here. All right, everyone, I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.